Okay, today we're going to be looking at version 4 of Elementor and I have made a previous video about the new version 4. I will link it here somewhere and in the description below so you can watch it. But Elementor has a new update and that is variable. So in the future we will not need to use global styles for, you know, styling our elements. We will be able to create variables which can be assigned to classes and so on and so forth and elements and let's get into it because it this is very good all right so if you don't know how to activate version 4 of alpha of elementor let me show you okay so if you know you can skip further so in your dashboard you navigate to element settings yeah and you will see that you have the option to select editor 4 and click okay i already have it activated so in order to access it to try out experience and a page will be created for you all right so i'm not gonna work on this page because i already have a page created for this purpose but let's navigate to that page and i'm gonna go through everything that i did here i'm not gonna actually do it because it's going to take so long but let me just explain okay so just a brief introduction to version 4 okay as you can see here we have atomic elements okay so these elements are part of version 4 if you don't activate version 4 <laughs> element or how many times i'm gonna say, um you will not be able to see this yeah all right so these are the elements that we can play around and add our variables, our classes, and so forth, okay? So that's what I did already here. Basically, I have just added a normal container. And inside here, I have added a div. All right, so if I click on this div block, so basically the div block is part of the atomic elements, okay? So I've used a few uh, atomic elements on this uh, in this container, so you can see how this works, because this work with the new version of v4 elementor yeah so i click on it and i am in the local yeah but i don't want to design this locally i want to assign it a class so i have created a class here which is called prism card okay so if i close all these settings you will see that the ones that i have set have this green dot has style has style has style basically the same color as the class okay so let me show you how you can create a class first of all you do not add a dot like you would normally you just add the name of the class so box box color 2 okay and you can either press enter or just click on this create button here or option and it's created and now we are in the box color 2 class and as you can see nothing is styled but you can go and start styling and this class will have this styling so if you want to add this styling to any element you simply go to uh, that element for example this button and look for that class and you add it okay right now it doesn't have anything added to it but this is how you do it okay and that element is going to take that styling. Very, very cool. Let me just remove this and uh, let's go back to the div block, okay? I'm gonna remove class and we are in the print. And I'm not gonna go over all this uh, layout and, you know, uh, designs that I did. It doesn't matter. Uh, what I want to focus on is on the variables, okay? So if I go to background, for example, you will see that you have the option to change to add a color that's nothing too crazy we know that it's possible okay but you you will see here let me just remove this so you see it. this is how it's going to look basically yeah and then if you hover over either this square you will see that you get this funny icon that looks like three grapes together to me and if you click on it or hover over it it says variables yeah and if you click on it you will be able to add variables here so i have a bunch of variables added already um why it one there let me just go back to um so uh normally you would have here there's a button and it says uh, create your variable I think if i remember correctly and or uh, you can uh, create your variable from here but you can also search for variables for example just in case you remember you the, the variable name uh although i think it would be a little bit difficult because you know too many so how you add a variable you click here yeah add the name of it and add the color so let's just say uh test var oops no 
not acceptable this no oh my god this <laughs> and then look for your color uh, variable i'm gonna go with this one but you can add rgb hex whatever you want okay and you simply hit create and our card is yellow we don't want it to be yellow so i'm gonna look for another color that i have here so and this was it yeah so the way you should see variable is like global styles because this is what they are but they are available here you know it's it's made so much easier and it's going to make our lives so much easier uh, because we can organize our design system so much better than currently yeah so i think that is that is pretty pretty straightforward but let me know in the comments below if you don't understand how this works still yeah as i said we have variables for colors yeah which i've just shown you and for typography yeah as you would for global font and for global color that's as simple as that the forget the name variable this is what it is yeah so you don't get uh stressed about it just think that basically they move position or locations they're in different place okay and then if you go to borders you will see that i already have a variable set here because again we're talking about colors so whatever there is an option to add color you will be able to add variables for colors wherever there is an option to add variables for fonts you will be able to add variables for fonts easy so let's change it with uh, this amazing color okay so we also have effects okay uh, you can add box shadows here, you can stack them up, you can add as many as you want. Let me just click on one of them. As I said, again, colors. You can add your, you know, choose from your variables from here. So these variables are global everywhere uh, where you have the option to add color. I said that before, but I want to reiterate how easy it is to add colors to elements yeah any elements that to which you can add color easy okay so let's move on another thing here you can move this up and down change the positions uh, as you wish yeah and you can also duplicate them hide them or simply remove them super super simple and we have the, the option to add uh, filters here you can also add a percentage of this filter yeah the cool thing is that we don't have to use that much css or probably uh, by the time the, the the new version comes out maybe very 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 minimal and that makes me ha happy because we can focus on designing and not coding okay so backdrop filters the same you can add your backdrop filters here Right now I have a blur at 14 pixels, yeah? And you can add it uh, how many uh, pixels you want, whatever, or RAM or EM, whatever you want. So yeah, I think this is pretty cool. And as you can see, if I hover over the card, it's very ugly, yes, I know, the color changes. So if I click on these three dots here, I will be prompted to states. So we know what states are. We have this in uh, this in the current uh, version of Elementor, right? So the state is the normal state, hover state. Obviously, when you hover an element, focused, this is not really that used. Active. So when the element is active. So in this case, let's say you, we have three tabs where one tab by default is active. The other ones are just normal. And if you hover on one of these cards, you know, the style change so this is how it works exactly the same so the way you style uh one of these uh states is by simply uh going to the three dots clicking hover and now you are in the hover state and in the hover state you can add your see i have different box shadows here but imagine this as being a css so you have the class dot prism card and then you have the two dots and then you have the hover state and then you have the brackets in which you put your properties and your values. So basically, this is how you think about it. Unless you're not really familiar with CSS, uh, don't think about that. Don't think about it. Just this is the way you would do it normally with CSS. And it's, it's really logical. Yeah, there's nothing too, too fancy or too crazy about it. Just logic, the logic way of adding CSS or creating CSS. All right, gonna uh, go back to the Prince card and that is it. 
Yeah, let's move on to the next element, which is a heading. And as you can see, I have here a class which is called card title. Okay. And I have also added my colors, but I want to focus first on the typography. Yeah. Because let me just remove it. If I, you hover over the font family box here, you will see again the variable icon. So if you click on it, you again have the option to add your variable, but this time only for fonts, not colors font okay and you can add them from here so i'm gonna add one let's say test font and i'm gonna look for my variable which is my font i'm gonna go with whatever and create it okay voila it has been created has been added if i want to choose it to, to change it i'm gonna go to heading uh font the one that i had originally there it's there i mean it can't be easier than this okay and if you go to color again we have all the colors that we have added and I have added and so on and so forth. Very, very easy. I think it's very, very easy. And maybe it's not really intuitive from the beginning. It might take uh, some time, but I beg of you do not have too much pushback about this because honestly, this is how it should be. And this is uh, the way to do to to create websites. This is the way uh, that it's sustainable, I would say, or what is the word? The way that you make it uh, scalable. That is the word. This is going to be very, very scalable. Okay. Design systems are very popular in design. Uh, and teams use them small big they all use them and it's so good because everyone knows what to use you know anyway so if i go to the next element which is a paragraph you see that i have a different class yeah see heading card title paragraph card text again i have a different color for the font if i want to uh, i have a different uh, variable for the font and if i want to change the color i can change it and it's done and now our uh, styling for this card text has changed if you do that and you use this card text somewhere else that is going to change it there as well but at least you know what is the who which is the culprit it's this class yeah so you can go back and change the class color of the phone from the class and it's going to change back you don't have to go on that page on that page on that page to change to you know go crazy so yeah uh, that is good and let's move on to the next element the last element which is again uh one of those atomic elements as is the paragraph and the heading okay so i'm in the button and i have another class here it's a cta class yeah uh of course i did some styling here of course i added the body font uh, font family sizing color i also added a background color for it yeah change something crazy and uh i also have a border color which i'm gonna change it to this color okay and yeah that is easy right super easy and now if i publish it now it's official this change well again if you have this cta somewhere else on the page and if you just if you if you just change the colors bear in mind that the colors have changed on this, those pages as well okay so let's click on this three dots and you see you see that i have second state activated which is the hover okay if i click on the hover i can uh change the take a uh, color this color gonna change it to this yeah it's a bit more busy and then i have the background as well the color choices today hmm, questionable anyway so yeah how cool is this if i go back to the cta i'm back to the cta yeah and outside of the hover state so yeah let me know in the comments below what you think what you want to see more of maybe in the next video i'm gonna be making a better design this was just to play around and focus on the actual technical part of this elementor version for uh, alpha rather than just you know designing so yeah we have to do this more so we get used to it because our brains need to be rewired i remember when we moved from what was it sections i think i don't even remember because that's when exactly then i started when they converted from section to containers and it was hard for me i can imagine how hard it was for some people who actually worked for years and years and years with the old way of doing you know layouts and then containers came and it was a whole lot of things that was not that difficult this is going to be a little bit more difficult to wrap your hand around but just put it in that perspective as i said variables are actually the global styles uh but they are more accessible 
and easy to style easy to you know add different uh, and easy and just it's so much easier to to use and uh, reuse and create and so on and so forth so yeah let me know in the comments below what you would like to see more of when it comes to elementor v4 and i'm gonna try to find something to play around with let's see how it looks wow i mean 10 out of 10 right <laughs> if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye